Razvani for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. On the day of the press conference with me, Lee Wood. Lee, you alright? All good mate, all good. Excited innit? Good night's sleep? Yeah, yeah I've been sleeping well recently. Yeah. Um, just gonna suck all this up and enjoy every minute of it because uh, I love what I do, you know, I love boxing. The times when I didn't, things weren't going right, but um, you know, at the minute I'm fully in love with it. I love what I do. I enjoy every minute of this, enjoy every minute of Friday night. I'm expecting a hard fight, but um, I'm going to enjoy it. I've spoken to Dave Cole many times, he's always rated you extremely highly. Mm. Uh, but just, just that relationship with Dave, what's that like? And, and obviously, Dave's you know, been around a long, he's long a time. He's done a lot for me, and I've got to give him credit because without him, I don't know what I'll be doing. I don't know where I'd be, what I'd be doing. Um, and I, obviously, before the first time with Dave, I put a lot of um, put years and years into boxing, and a lot of tears, blood, sweat, etc. And I didn't really get get out what I put in. So since I signed with Dave, you know, um, he gave me opportunities and uh, fast, and you know, we're still going. We've got that momentum now. I never had that momentum before, so taking that forward, um, you know. I want to keep keep that momentum. Friday night, win. Come back for the final, win. And set some, some massive fights. When the draw happened yesterday, obviously you got Jazzy Dickens, uh, who is quite a lovable character, he's a funny guy as well. I don't know what, they're all, they're all sad. They're all, I think the worst I'd, I'd like to fight the least would probably be Tyrone because he's just like so, such a nice lad and like, spend a bit of time with him and having a laugh and that. But it's, it's a sport at the end of the day. That's all it is, a sport. But um, you have to put it to a side, don't you, for, for 10 rounds, so. A lot of people on Twitter yesterday were calling this Kolo versus Bellew. Uh, but obviously your eyes focus just on, on, on getting the victory. Yeah, it is what it is. It's uh, Wood Dickens. It's not in Liverpool. It's Cold or Bellew as well. But um, yeah, you know, nothing, nothing, that, nothing like that matters. We've got to go in and uh, do what we do and uh, I've got to go in and do a job on him. Where do you see yourself going from here? So let's say you, you were victorious on Friday, you get to the final victorious. What, what, what does 2020, 2021 look for you? I don't want to think about it too much, especially not fight week with this. On Friday first, man, I'm focused on this fully. But this is a big fight. He, um, Jazz has only lost to really good kids. He's at that level, which is like that world level right there. So this proves where I'm at. You know, I need this fight for myself as well to, to prove to myself like look, this is where I'm at and to prove to everyone else because you know, you still get not slated but people always got something to say, you know. The door of fight, you come on coming off a loss. When I beat um David Oliver Joyce, you know, it's like oh, the one as good as he thought it was or he was a bit like there's always something. This is a legitimate fight. So there won't be a lot to say after this and this proves exactly where I am, which is like ready for a world title shot. So. What do you make of the, the general concept and the opportunities that the MTK Global contract has given to fighters? Obviously in the past we've seen it's similar massive. stuff like Prize Fighter. I know more elite level we've yeah. seen the World Boxing Super Series, but what does this it's do? It's massive. It's massive because for like fighters like myself, they were sat around for so long waiting for opportunities and I was getting dangled carrots and all oh, this might happen. Because you're training, you can train at a certain level without fights but when you get a date you have to step it up because you have to be ready for the rounds um, but it's like it comes and you step it up and nothing came you step it up and nothing comes how long did you do that for how long can you train like that how long can you live with no money how long can you because they're the questions you have to answer when you're in the gym for a year I've done it for a few years but um, so these these tournaments give them fighters chances you know look we got this you guaranteed this fight and this fight and this fight all you gotta do is win if you'd have told me that years ago when I was waiting for fighters, I'd have been like, don't, don't you dare tease me, <laughs> you know? So, but um, two years ago, I would give anything to be in the position I am today, so I'm not let it slip. Plus, you also are entitled, if you were to get a knockout, get the knockout bonus, I think it's seven and a half thousand pounds on top of your... Is it seven? Seven and a half. I thought it was 12. No. Do you know? No, seven and a half. That's what they said yesterday. I think that's a bit of a fib, because... Um, <laughs> I think it was around five, and if you get two on the spin, it's around two. And if you get three on the spin, it's around 20, 25. But um, I can check for you. Yeah. I'll come back to you. But I'll, I'm, I'm pretty confident in saying because I've got one, two on the spins around the tall mark, I think. But yeah, it's it's not something you look for. You just want to get the go out and get the win. Um, and if it comes, like you say, it's a bonus. Mm. It is what it is, a bonus. If you go out looking for it, you won't get it. So, but you just generally, you know, you get some fighters that 
they need a bit of needle you know they need an opponent to wind them up to get up for the fight is that something you like as well or is that or you just like it you just focus on yourself I just focus on myself even training I've not watched anything of him yet I've not even watched the people that say he's lying I'm not lying I swear I've not watched squat final fights yet hopefully and um, I know what he brings I've done a bit of sparring with him um, I've seen plenty of him and do you know when in 2013 when Galahad beat Dickens obviously I was there inside um, the next week in the gym Brendan Ingle said to me come over here come over here I was like, it's like watch the fight I was like yeah Brendan I was there he's like you'll fight him one day I was like yeah he's like yeah and you do the same and it's like did you, you, Brendan used to say a lot of things and they all came they all came out and I'm thinking years later I came with you told me about this and it's strange because I thought that fight won't happen you know I moved weights and paths went different ways and then I uh, look we're here today and we're fighting so it's quite surreal but um, I know what I've got to do I don't need any beef to get up for a fight I don't need anything like that but um, he's in my way um, I train very hard but for this semi-final not knowing what I've got spot majority south pause just because of the odds are stacked with two south pause and I switch it off so I've been stupid not to so it's been, been mostly south pause I'm um, I'm prepared, I'm ready and I'm gonna go do number on him, uh, number on him Friday night. Just finally on Jazza, how does it how does it end on Friday night? I don't wanna say. I don't wanna to say too much. I mean I'm expecting a hard fight. You'd be stupid not to, he's he's a good fighter. You know, he um he warrants his rank number three with the IBF. He warrants that he's he is up there. But um I'm coming I'm coming to win and there's not gonna be much that's gonna stop me, so you know. To see see Friday night what, how, it, how it plays out. Just finally, just want your opinion. There's a there's a huge fight, international fight on Saturday night, early hours in the morning from Las Vegas. MTK's very own Tyson Fury up against Deontay Wilder. Everyone obviously saw the first fight, uh, yeah. and everyone is generally quite split on the second fight. What what is your thoughts? I mean, and what happened? You gotta you gotta you gotta uh, give him credit for what he's done with boxing. Tyson Fury, he's um, what a character, and you know he just he got, got he's got everyone talking about boxing again. But um, is he gonna win? Tyson Fury is best, in my opinion. Beats Deontay Wilder is best. I don't know what kind of camp he's had. I don't know what kind of camp he's had. Um, like when he boxed the first fight, it was um, not coming off a, a lively opponent for a long time. So it's kind of getting back in. He had them few takeover fights, not takeovers, but the one at the same level. So maybe maybe that was a bit caused him to not perform at his best. But I thought he still boxed really well. Second fight, if he's at his best, and he has had a good camp, I'm backing Fury to win on points. Tyson talked a lot about knocking out Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder said yesterday, Tyson, his two-year-old child punches harder than Tyson Fury. Do you know, every anyway, it's um, it's just one of the things. If you get caught at the right time, at most weeks if you get caught at the right time, but especially every week, one little mistake, you walk forward onto a shot, you switch off, or you don't see something coming, you're gone. So um, you can't you can't say he's crazy for saying that, you know what I mean? But um, Tyson's a boxer, and sometimes if someone's rushing you and they can sit in, a boxer's relaxed as if you're in the shot, it can come. So yeah, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't rule it out. Lee, wish you nothing but the best uh, on Friday night. Thanks a lot. You know it's going to be a very exciting fight potentially. Potential that was the potential to be a really good fight. So uh, just tune in and don't miss this. And uh, it's headlining act for for a reason, yeah. Lee Wood for IFL TV, thank you very much.